Here's a quick tip on finding Mr. Right. Finding Mr. Right is a three-step process. The first step is taking a look at your past. What have you already experienced? What do you already know in terms of what works for you and what doesn't work for you? Because if you can figure that out, you can turn hindsight into foresight. And that's extraordinarily valuable. It's a fairly easy process to do, but you'd be amazed at how many people have no clue how to do it. The second piece is you've got to look at what I refer to as your market value. Now, most people are horrified by this, but there are certain things about you that affect what I call your market value in the dating world. And you need to know what they are and what categories we'd be looking at. And the scary thing about this is that 95% of the female clients I work with have absolutely no idea what those things are about themselves that need upgrading. That's horrific. The third piece, and this is where it gets interesting and exciting for most people, is a mass dating campaign. Now what this means is I want you out in the world dating far more than you are already, but dating intelligently. Now we used to joke about this and say it was W dating, but it's really not. You see, what I found over the years of doing this is that most women don't date anything like enough. They'll have three or four dates a year. That, between you and me, is insane. It's never going to get you what you want. Imagine looking for a house on the same basis or a job. It's ridiculous. You wouldn't do it. So you've got to more than double your dating. You've got to make this your new quest. It's kind of like a new career. But if you do it properly, it's exciting. So there you go. The three ways to find Mr. Right. Bye for now.